Hello everyone, welcome to part 12 of my Pokemon DS hacking tutorials, where today I'm going to talk about 3D overworld sprites, where these look just like the overworld sprites you change for every other part of the game, but since 3D is currently happening in the DS, they have to render you differently, so they use a BMD0 file. For me, when editing Pokemon Platinum, this is when Giratina showed up, like this here, and for a very brief instant on the second screen, Lucas showed up. And you can find him by opening up your ramen tink. And go on down to our guy here. And we go into Arc Demo Tengen Graphic Narc. Okay. And these are the pieces for the Giratina cutscene. And specifically, we want to look at, for our trainer guys, 61 for the male and 63 for the female. And Tink is actually really impressive because you can click this and like just move it around like it's an actual 3D preview. And you can even click show textures to see all the frames that it has in there because it won't show up on here. But it won't let you replace them, unfortunately. So we had to find a workaround to change them correctly. Uh, let's see here. So we close this on down. So I'm going to edit Lucas. I'm going to change this back to this guy. And I'm going to extract the BMD0. Put it right on the desktop. And there he is. Okay, move Tink out of the way for now. I'm gonna open up NKS Course Editor Beta 11. Make sure it's Beta 11. You may remember this one from the second half of the Heart Gold Soul Silver Follow Sprite episode. But well, we only need it for one little step. And as I said before, there are two versions of the NKDS Editor that's in the DS Video Tools folder. But you'll know you'll have the right one if it has the toad icon here. Perfect. So, what we have to do first is take this guy, the rename, remove zero from the end of the extension, and add NS to the beginning for an NSBMD. And it'll say it may become unstable, but that's exactly what we want to do. We go here, and I believe it's under Tools, and we go down to Nitro System, NSBMD, and we want to extract a blank NSBMD file and the NSBTX, like so. And we're just going to say, where's our, our guy? He's right here. So we open, and then it'll say where you want to save your two files. The second NSBMD, which we'll call test save and then oh it gave me a name here but I don't want that so then test and that's gonna be the NSBTX okay and then they should both appear right here all right so this is the 3d portion of it uh, they use BMD 0 both for the overworld sprite guys and also the actual 3D models of the Pokemon. But the actual 3D model of a trainer sprite is just the 32 by 32 box I've talked about in the overworld videos and just propped straight up and down. So it's kind of like a board game piece. So really this is just a blank 32 by 32 box giving us freedom to put in our sprite texture. Okay, and to do that, we then do one more renaming. We take this guy. Because if you notice, he has BTX in his name. So if we just get rid of that NS, like so, and we say that we are smart enough for this, leave us alone, we can now open up BTX Editor 2.0, open, and that. And here is the sprite sheet. Now, sadly, it's not one for one with your main walking sprite. I don't know why, but they want to make it tricky. So we need to go ahead and we will export. Lucas, 
BMD0. Right there in the desktop. Perfect. All right, open up a sprite. Put him in there. And it's so close to being the same, but they just repeat a couple frames here and there. So you're gonna have to just take out your uh, your walking sprite guy and place your guys over this one as you had before for your regular overworld sprites, which I've already done. And I have it stored somewhere. Oh, where are they hiding? Here. Ah. There he is. Just like so. Alright. So, all I gotta do is import and find that JTAS dude, which you'll see him show up right here. Very cool. And we can just save. Like I said in the follow sprite one, this version of the BTX editor can just replace your existing guy. So we're gonna take the test BTX, save, and then say yes. That's good. Heck, we can even reopen it just to make sure that it changed correctly. Love it. All right. And we get all sneaky. We name. Come back and say NS. And then yes to this again. Good, okay, so we just changed the texture. So we need to recombine it with the flat 3D model. And to do that, we just go back to tools, at MKS course modifier. Right here, the second one. So first you say, where is your Nitro System basic model, which is this one. And then your Nitro System basic texture which is right here. And then that's where you want to save it. So now we're gonna say here, test J, save, and another one should appear here. Beautiful, okay, and then we do a little bit more Frankenstein science. We remove the Nitro system, NS, and add the zero back on, so Tink knows what we're talking about. Cool. And then we can go back in the tank. Take that one. Change file. And replace. And click. View. Ah, there he is. And then you can use confirm this all work by going to show textures. And you should see them all in the exact same order that you saw your original guy. Well, the original order that Lucas had, you know. Just make sure they match. Even though, I think for this, the only one that shows up is the very first one. Because you're just facing away like in the screenshot. So, I don't know if you even needed to do all this, but just in case, there you go. And as I understand, though, I have not actually done this personally yet. I think Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and also later in Gen 5, use BMD0 and uh, NSBMD files more. So you may find more of these to change than I did in Platinum, but as far as I understand them, this method should work for those as well, and you're all good. All right, and that's really it. That This will cover all of the weird 3D overworld sprites that were like, wow, I already changed mine, why isn't this working? Uh, and now they watch actually cooperate. And you'll be good to go from here. So I wish you a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody!